We're here at PAX 2007, displaying a bunch of uh, PlayStation 3, PS2, and PSP titles for the public here. This is one of the larger gaming conventions of the year. People get to come in, try out a bunch of different games, sign up for all sorts of betas, demo discs, uh, and get, of course, free swag. So we're here to promote uh, several titles. I have Judgment, Lair, Warhawk, Heavenly Sword, Ratchet & Clank Future, Tools of Destruction, and Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PlayStation 3. Uncharted uh, is uh, basically a big budget Hollywood action movie brought to life on the PlayStation 3. It's the story of the history of Sir Francis Drake. We're saying that he's actually covering up a bigger, larger mystery, that he was actually on the trail to the lost treasure of El Dorado. And Nathan Drake, our lead character, is an illegitimate uh, heir to Sir Francis Drake. And he has a family heirloom that pointed him to the burial site of the sarcophagus. We unearth the sarcophagus at the beginning of the game and find that it's empty, but inside is Sir Francis Drake's journal. And it's leading us on this treasure hunt looking for the treasure of El Dorado. We're doing a pretty interesting experience, much like Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And it's allowing folks to come in, sign up, and take a trip to the fabled city of Aslan to figure out a bunch of puzzles that help them get keys that they can then utilize to unlock a treasure chest that gives them all sorts of cool prizes. You're going to start over here at this sign which has a map on it. The map has some GPS coordinates and you can see the next sign right over through this courtyard here and to the left. All right. Okay, happy questing. Good luck. All right. Great. Thank you. Well, it says we get the first symbol from a guard. So where are we at? We've got human, yeah. and then we've got S, S A C. C. Human I think sacrifice. I know where this is going. I think I volunteer you. Okay, but you'll need to whisper in my ear because other people might be crying. Human sacrifice. From there, they go off to the Badlands, which is kind of this rock formation we've developed. So they have to just kind of climb up to the top of this, find the symbol. It was tough. Basically, it was soft. So I was going to fall off half the time, but you know there were symbols about halfway up. But if you got all the way to the top, there was a modified symbol, so you could get more keys. This is the underworld, and I am in desperate need of new mercenaries. Are you up for the challenge? One is to one shot. <laughs> then they head over to the Sun God's temple. <laughs> which is an area where they have to identify the false deity. If they succeed at that, they get a mark on their pass and they get a key uh, for the uh, treasure chest. You give me back and I can give you a key. I actually had a lot of fun with the hidden treasure. There are coins in a pond partially covered with other things. And you had to see the different coins and figure out what was on it by seeing a picture, part of each picture. So. You people are looking for the treasure trove of the palace? Yes, we are. Yeah, you are. After they've collected all their keys, they head back to our booth try their keys out in the treasure chest to see what kind of cool prizes they've won. We have concept art that's been signed by Naughty Dog themselves. We've got a bunch of Nathan Drake rings that he actually wears around his neck that has a, a symbolism from the game. And at the end of each day, we're doing a drawing for two PlayStation 3s, an extra controller, and a bunch of first party software. Uncharted Drake's Fortune is coming out this holiday season. It's created by Naughty Dog, the team that brought you Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter. It's going to be an amazing title. It's only available on the PlayStation 3.